let us try to build a circuit which is capable of doing a minus b. Here we are going to assume that a is a 4-bit vector and b is also a 4-bit vector and a is always greater than or equal to b. Now going by the regular method you have a which is 4 bits a3, a2, a1, and a0, and b is 4 bits, now the procedure that you follow is, you do a plus minus b, so you take the 2's complement of b, which is flip and add 1. In this case, we are going to flip the bits of b, therefore this becomes b3 prime, b2 prime, b1 prime and b0 prime and then we add 1 so you have the circuit as a3 a2 a1 a0 b3 prime b2 prime b1 prime and b0 prime and 1 and now you can add it up now if you look at this more closely we need four NOT gates to invert B, right? So once that is done, you know that to add three things, we need a one full adder that generates a sum and a carry. Then here you have three more things. So you need another full adder which generates a sum and a carry. And then one more full adder, which generates a sum and a carry. And then finally, you need another full adder, which generates sum and carry out. You can either choose to ignore carry out or you can put it as the fifth bit. It's totally upon the designer's choice. So let's build the circuit for this a2, a1, a0, b3, b2, b1, b0. First we flip the bits of b, so put a NOT gate here, invert it. And then we need four full adders. The inputs to the first full adder are A0, B0 prime, and a one. So A0, B0 prime, and a one. The output of the full adder is S0 and C1. C1 is the third input for the full adder so you have A1, B1, and the third input is C1, produces S1 and C2. So this full adder gets A2 and B2 prime and C2, outputting S2 and carry 3. And the last full adder gets A3, B3, and C3 outputting S3 with a carry out. So this is a subtractor circuit. Now this is only going to work when A is greater than or equal to B.